Hello everyone and welcome back to another SOLIDWORKS lecture. So for this video we're going to start going over adding um, bits and bits and pieces to the uh, uh, SOLIDWORKS animator. We're going to start moving into adding motion to our assemblies. So if I want to start doing that, I come down here and I click on motion study. So there's going to be a whole lot of uh, tools that we're going to add to our repertoire in the coming lectures. But right now I just want to go over how to insert a simple motor. So to do that, I come up here to motor and I've got two choices. I got rotary motion and I've got linear motion. And for both of these, you'll follow the same process. But for this one, I just want to add in a rotary motor. So I want to be able to rotate this knob and have this turn with it. So I'm going to click on the edge on where I want to insert the, the motor. I'm going to click on this edge right here and I'm going to see an arrow come up. It's telling me which direction it's going to be rotating. If I want to change it, I just click on reverse direction. So now that I come down to motion, I got a couple of different options. I can use it, I can set it to a constant speed motor, uh, rotate at a certain distance, have it oscillate at a certain frequency, so on and so forth. But let's just take the constant speed. So the motor is going to cause rotation at 100 RPMs. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And you're going to see um, this, this, pop, this, this pop up right here. So that's telling me uh, the key for total length. So I'm going to I can move this out to make it longer. But I'm going to leave it at 5 for right now. So let's just go ahead and uh, cause it to rotate. We'll hit play. It's kind of hard to see from that rotation, that, that angle. I'm going to try it again. You can see this knob rotating and this knob rotating with it. So I want, I can start this to rotate at a later time or just move this key outward. And I'll come over here and I'm going to hit uh, calculate. That'll recalculate my animation and it'll start right where I wanted it to start. I also have the option if I want to uh, save this animation as an AVI, I just click save and I can save it as an AVI. So that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more content such as this. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.